So, let's suppose you want to make some fantastic simulation using Blender and Embergen together. So you make the animation part in Blender, the fire simulation in real time in Embergen, and then you bring it back to Blender, and here is the part in which most people will notice some issues, right? Sometimes the fire goes slower than expected in Blender. Nothing aligns anymore, is out of place, bigger or smaller. So here is what you have to do. From Blender, export your selected objects choosing FBX format or eventually Alembic. Turn on selected only and for FBX format only, turn off these two settings here. In Embergen, import your animated file using an import node connected to some emitter node. With the import node selected, in the options just find your animated file. You will have to adjust the location and scale eventually. Now, from the volume processing node, create an export VDB node and with that selected in the options, choose where to save the VDB sequence. Connect the transform output to the transform input. By doing this, the fire in Blender will have the perfect location and scale. Now, we also want to match the speed between Blender and Embergen, right? Here is exactly where beginners usually get lost. Because Embergen works in a very particular way, but it's actually very easy after the first day of tries. I will make it as much easy as possible for you. For example, in my case, my animation in Blender is 25 frames per second. But this workflow would be the same even if it was 24 or 30. Now, in Embergen, if you click on the simulation node, in the options under time control, check the time steps value. By default it is set on 60 Hz usually. Kinda weird, but it's fine, don't change it. Instead, what you can do is to select the import node and in the options scroll down and activate override FPS. Finally, change the FPS to 30. By doing this, I am basically forcing my animated mesh to play at 30 FPS. FPS just temporarily in Embergen. I choose 30 because 30 is a correct multiple of 60, like the 60 Hz in my case. Now select the export VDB node and set a frame stride of 2, which means that basically Embergen will export one frame every 2. Basically in poor words the timing will be perfectly aligned in Blender later. As a last thing, set a total number of frames that matches the timeline of Blender. Finally, you can click on export now for exporting the VDB sequence that we will use in Blender. In Blender, press Shift S and choose Cursor to World Origin. This is very important. Now, you can press F3 and search for Import VDB. Find your VDB sequence, select the entire sequence, import it, done. Cool. I know, probably at this point you are confused like I was at the beginning, but after the first shocking days, you will get it. Now this is the correct workflow in poor words for having a proper alignment between the two softwares. But for more advanced time manipulations, you're gonna want to experiment more with the time step setting together with the override settings together with the frame stride. These three values should travel together in a balanced way. The explanation for this is basically that, as suggested by Jung FX, Embergen is optimized for working in 60 Hz. This means that you can actually change those time steps hertz if you need. You can actually play randomly with the hertz just to see the different results that you get, if they are good or bad, in order to decide which value you should use. But simply try to stay as close as possible to the value of 60. And at the same time, choosing a number that is a correct multiple of your specific FPS. Thanks for watching and for having more step-by-step -step tutorials about simulations, destruction, visual effects in Blender, consider joining my Patreon. Cheers!